We're back at JC Refrigeration in Shipshawana, Indiana. Having a few issues with our uh, conversion we did a couple of years ago here. Now they make a dual compressor refrigerator, so we're going get, to get it swapped out and put that in. And everything should be perfect at the Edel Camper. what's going on again. All so right. I know which guy you need to see. We're getting temperatures. This is 43 degrees. These are basically each day. You know what, that's 50 degrees. What's that? 39. 39. 37. 48. Oh, okay, so it's 40. fluctuating. So when was this installed? Two, about two years ago. Thermistor is, oh, you got the snip, the chip. So in that time, <clears throat> When that happens, have you ever tried wiring the compressor direct to 12 volt? We were in Arizona and I was having some problems with it and I called and they had me move a few wires around and they actually sent me a new module which I installed and it, it worked a lot better after that. Uh, I'm going to take a peek outside just to make sure I know what you got. And does it make a difference if it's extremely hot outside or not hot outside? Doesn't really seem to make a difference. Does it make a difference? So when it wasn't working, like when you, when the temperature spiked up, was this running still? Do you remember? Yeah, it, it pretty much runs full time. Uh, well, Thursday we go to uh, Lambright and change out our love seat. Oh my, that's a bad, that's a bad place. Is it? Yeah, you need to make sure that you tell him you want at least 50% discount. I'll tell him you tell him. Yeah, yeah okay. yep, I'm his brother. The single compressor you you know we no longer make. <clears throat> it's a double compressor unit. One runs the freezer, one runs the fridge. I mean, yeah, from your original unit, from the single compressor unit to the double compressor, yes, it is a lot more expensive, a lot more, a couple hundred bucks more expensive. But then we no longer use your narco patrols either. We put it uncontrolled in. But sometime here in the next week before you leave, we could surely schedule you in. That'd be fine. To come in and get it changed out. All right. So let me work again. on let me work on that schedule and let me get you priced and then okay. I'll be back. And what All was right. your name again? I'm, I'm JR. 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 Thank you, like, JR. Are you like the? <laughs> what? The JR? The JR. The JR. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Well who's JC? Huh? Who's JC? I am. Be JR, JC. I'm both. How does that work? <laughs> I can call it worse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Thank I got you, you down Monday at 8. If you have an early morning appointment, you can boondock here in the parking lot. They also have one electric and water hookup, but it's first come, first serve. So make sure if you want that, you're here early. There's plenty of room for you to put out all your slides here and for several coaches to come. If you have 50 amps, make sure you bring a dog bone because this is a 30 amp box. They also have water here if you need it as well. We arrived early, so we were able to get the hookup spot. They also have a picnic table and we came over and just uh, made ourselves at home. If you don't happen to get the electrical spot, you can run your generators here. If you don't want to sit at the picnic table, they have a nice little bench over here for you as well. We've met some new friends while we're here and hopefully going to be playing some dice games later on this evening right here at this picnic table. A lot has changed in the last two years and we are looking forward to getting the updated conversion. Now we're all here waiting for JC. <laughs> and this is Don and Gary, right? Hello. Yes. Hi. It's <laughs> Sunday night and we're playing dice <laughs> at JC Refrigeration. Uh-huh. Are we going to make money? We're casting for lots. So they're really busy in here. There's another one going out and we're getting ready to go in. That's pretty cool. Is that an electric caulking gun? That's cool. Okay, so it's called masking and allows the thermal couple to cool it. It gets lined up and ready to go in. I'm just gonna wait for them to lift the door up. It looks like they're sweeping up their mess and ready for the next person. There goes one out the back door and we're going in the front door. 
it's time for us to clean out the refrigerator, we have to bag up all the food and put it inside the refrigerator. I thought I had the refrigerator really cleaned out and I have two bags of stuff from the uh, refrigerator and a bag and a half from the freezer along with my eggs. Put them all into the refrigerator here and we are ready to step outside and let them do their magic. Hey, Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. What are you going to do for me today? Well, I'm going to switch to the single compressor to double compressor unit. Um, we made that upgrade, I think it was two years ago. Mm -hmm. We the You're the one who did compressor it. did work fine, but um, especially in the very hot weather, they tend to get a little bit slow and sluggish. That's why we switched up to double compressor, and we've had very few problems with those um, so far. Sounds good. Well, weird, what's weird about this one is, like this morning, it was a little cold. Mm -hmm. The refrigerator went to 55. Really? It was 37 yesterday. That might be from like a foaming issue or so. Uh, we Those are rare problems, that, but they do happen every once in a while. Um, but yeah, we'll try to figure out what's going on, but we'll switch it to a double compressor and your problem should end there for sure. That's why you don't sell the single anymore, right? No, we don't sell the single anymore. So if you want, reason. I'll give you a good deal on this old one. It's like an <laughs> antique. You could put it in the... Uh, JC Refrigeration put the, Museum. Put it, put it in the showcase. Put it in the museum, man. Yeah. No, we don't. Those go directly to trash. We don't resell those or anything. They are junk. So if I come here and I stand outside, I could get a nice refrigerator. There you go. Yeah, yeah or you can take it along with you if you want to. Uh, I'll pass. Well, there's the back to an old absorption fridge. We used to have one of those. Not anymore. I think this is one of the Amish backs here. I'd have to check that. It definitely looks a little better than the first one I showed you. Well, here's the refrigerator sitting nice and empty. Mm-hmm. You should be good to go. I'm gonna swing this thing around. Oh, wow. this, is, this is our new refrigerator, huh, Aaron? That's the new one. That's right. Ooh. That's got two, two, count them, two compressors. Yeah,
Check out all those refrigerators. That's a lot of refrigerators. So what's all those boxes of refrigerators out there? You guys build refrigerators? Well, we're actually gonna start since a lot of the RV manufacturers are starting to build, um, or they're building them with residential reefers in them. Mm -hmm. And we're already getting calls of those going bad. So we're coming out with our own double compressor, 12 volt fridge that we're gonna switch out with. Sweet. Which will have more room in it. Yeah. So right here's your on off. All that stuff is dead now. Um, our controls are all on the inside. And, oh, look at, that, look at that fan. Yep, you'll pick it under here. Um, so right here is your freezer temperature set. This is your refrigerator temperature set. And it started up not too long ago, but it's already starting to cool down pretty good since it was it was a little bit cold once we had it switched out. So nothing, nothing too good going on. Anyways, right here is uh, the toggle switch. That's your main on off switch. And then this is just for your motion sensor for the light. Ready for me to get some food? Yeah. Yeah, you can put the food in. Um, test it out in case, so thank you. And my ice maker's gonna work again? Yes. yes. If it worked before I am? It was working great. I didn't want to pour out of the ice, but he said you probably needed me to. Here comes the food. Lots of food. And the puppy. You got a puppy? I got a puppy. Load it all back in. And she's ready to go. We're excited about our new refrigerator. All right, it's time for the JC Refrigeration Cellular Service Report. Well, in the lead this time is T Mobile at 101 megabits per second down and 5.67 megabits per second up. Very nice numbers. Meanwhile, AT&T second place at 39.9 megabits per second down and 5.40 megabits per second up. And we got Verizon there at 10.3 megabits per second down and 3.88 megabits per second up. All pretty good numbers. So you ought to be able to catch a movie while you're waiting to get your new refrigerator. Not a lot to do in the evening around there. They roll those sidewalks up pretty early. So make sure you have a good charge on your cellular device and have at it. We'll talk to you next time.